Literature Review Reference Management When we are reading a lot of literature as the part of our uh, constructing literature review, we are going through so many references, so many sources. And as researcher, we are required to keep a record of those uh, references and sources. Right? So how to keep this record effectively? That's the key to success. And we are required to use a lot of techniques and you know, uh, tips for keeping records of organizing information. Uh, because the information which we are required to report is the part of our literature review are to be documented in a very formal way. So that formal way is, you know, um, on the basis of a particular style and particular, you know, uh, formal writing techniques, we are required to present the information which we collected from the survey of literature, right? So we should know how to manage uh, the information and how to keep record of those references. Right, so the managing of the process effectively is a tip which is required from every researcher. And the record of all keywords, uh, you know, that is the first step which you would use for uh, keeping, you know, the track record of whatever sources you are using, right? So the keywords are really important. You would be using keywords for your research on any database or any software like EndNote, right? So you must know that what are your keywords and which search was done through which keywords, right? So that's an important point. And then the second is that you must be uh, keeping record of all the bibliographic um, detail, right? The bibliographical detail is really important uh, because you would be required to, uh, to uh, enlist every source, every reference which you would cite in your work, right? So you are keeping record of uh, all bibliographical detail. Whatever book you are reading, whatever magazine or, you know, research journal article and whatever source you are reading, you must be keeping track record of that for the sake of the end list, right? Thanks to some of the softwares, because we now have the facility to, to keep the digital record of everything. Like, for example, there is one option in MS Word, uh, which is cite while you, you write. So you are citing while writing and then the end list is prepared automatically at the end of your Word document. So that's one, you know, uh, important uh, utility of uh, uh, MS Word, right? But you can also use another software like uh, ProSite or EndNote, which would be maintaining your, uh, you know, bibliography or list of references, right? If you are not using these, uh, you know, uh, digital sources, you are required to maintain a manual record of everything you are reading, right? So that's uh, the important tip that you must be keeping record of all biographical detail. And then you must create your personal library. Personal library is like you are um, in a position to create your own library uh, while using a software. In, in this uh, end note, there is a possibility that you would create your own library. So you can discuss this with your librarian. Um, if you have your own laptop, your own PC, you are required to maintain your own library uh, of the software like EndNote, okay? And then you can also maintain your own personal library manually. You would be keeping record of every hard source, every book, journal, which you are, you know, um, uh, referring, referring in your text, you would be uh, uh, keeping track record of that, right? So the filing system is really important. And that filing system, the, you know, maintaining of the library is important. Uh, word file or manual. Both possibilities are there. Then you must be maintaining the bibliographic detail from the very beginning. If you are missing something, then at the end you would be, you know, facing a catastrophic situation, okay? Uh, because you would be in a very messy situation if you are not maintaining your bibliographical uh, detail of your references um, from the beginning, right? And then you must learn and acquire a software such as EndNote or ProSite or preference uh, reference manager uh, because these are the softwares which are used uh, for uh, your uh, you know um, a track record of the um, sources uh, while um, doing this you must keep in mind that plagiarism is to be avoided whatever you are taking from any literature source you must be properly um, referring to that source and that's uh, important for uh, you know your academic honesty, right? So for academic honesty, you must be avoiding plagiarism. Uh, plagiarism is something which is uh, 
unacceptable in academic circles. Okay, so you must know from the very beginning that whatever you are uh, uh, referring to um, in your text must be uh, properly documented, uh, properly referred in your text, and then also uh, completely uh, given in a very formal shape at the end list of your references. Okay, so that's important, and that's really important for avoiding plagiarism. Uh, there are tips and techniques to avoid plagiarism. Uh, you must know that. And then there is a, a plagiarism policy, uh, which has uh, already been issued by the Higher Education Commission of Pakistan. If you are doing your degree from a Pakistani university, you must know that what is the plagiarism policy of HSC. And then you should know and avoid plagiarism, right? And then um, there are intellectual rights, um, intellectual property rights, uh, which are also important to be known by academics. And you should avoid uh, violating the um, uh, intellectual property rights of others. And then, of course, um, when you are referring to uh, sources from literature, you must be following one style consistently. Uh, like in, in literature and also in applied linguistics, we are most of the time we are using either APA, American Psychological Association, or MLA, Modern Language Association. So you must be the master of these styles, whatever style you are using, uh, so that you are not committing any mistake. And that's, you know, the, the, the technical aspect of uh, writing thesis. Okay, so you are expected to know uh, the particular style of your university and then master it and use it in your literature review.